Hey, David Jordan, thanks for watching. Uh, we're back at the NRA convention 2015, and we're here with Mike from Corbine. Mike is going to talk a little bit uh, about how to select ammo for the new shooter, or for anybody, really. Uh, when, when you're trying to figure out that with all the different types of ammo there are, uh, what, uh, what, what do you do to, to pick what's right for you? Uh, Mike, tell us a little bit about Cor uh, Corbine. Well, Corbon's been in business since 1982. We started out originally making hunting ammunition for people going to Africa, and it evolved into, start, got into defensive ammunition uh, with uh, 9 millimeter ammo that was available only to law enforcement, and we came out with a load that was available to civilians that was very similar. That actually took us in, uh, catapulted us in a defensive market, and we've uh, been in business for 33 years now and going strong. I've heard so many good things about Torbon in general. Um, Mike, uh, kind of for the for the novice shooter, with all the ammo selection there is available right now, what's a way to filter that down? What's an easy way for a new shooter to select an ammo that's right for them? Okay. Uh, the best thing I can tell you is when you when you talk about defensive use of handgun ammunition, you want to use a good expanding hollow point. You want to make sure it's a reliable expanding hollow point. This is going to cause the bullet to not over penetrate the target, not cause injury to somebody on the other side of the target, and it's going to cause maximum incapacitation to the person who's doing you harm. And uh, you know. But, the, the gamut of ammunition runs from very minimal penetration to deep penetration, and there's different aspects of each that certain people would want. If you worked in the city and you, you were around concrete a lot, it, I call it the concrete jungle, you might want to go with a Glacier Safety Slug. The Glacier Safety Slug is a copper bullet jacket filled with a compressed load of shot. It's designed to reduce ricochets on hard surfaces, and it's designed to reduce uh, penetration on a soft tissue target. So that will not over penetrate a person and it will break up on hard surfaces like walls and roads and cars. Uh, next up would be Powerball. Powerball is an excellent choice and the reason I say so is that uh, it's, it was originally designed to feed in finicky feeding auto pistols. The uh, hollow points that we had were very large and they were starting to choke some of the modern auto pistols when they come out. So we put a polymer ball inside of a hollow cavity bullet and design power ball. It performs like a great hollow point, but it feeds like hard ball ammo, so it's very reliable. Excellent choice for self-defense. Next up would be our Corbon Jack of the Hollow Point. This is what put us on the map. This is what made us popular. We use a Jack of the Hollow Point bullet that we design and run it as fast as possible. It's at maximum pressure, and it, what, what that does is give you higher velocity and assures expansion and uh, keeps it from over penetrating the soft tissue target like we talked about earlier. And then lastly, and our newest defensive ammunition is DPX. It's a solid copper hollow point. This is designed for consistent reliable expansion with optimal penetration in what the FBI calls uh, 12 to 18 inches. Is they, they consider that optimal penetration in soft tissue. The nice thing about DPX is if you're in an area where you may you're around cars a lot it's, and you may have to shoot through that car at a bad guy, uh, DPX is a very consistent, reliable penetrator of hard barriers like windshields, car glass, etc. Plywood, anything like that. So we run the whole gamut from very minimal penetration to deep penetration, and we give everybody uh, a, a huge option of what they want. They, they've got a great variety to check, choose from, and they're all good. They all work very, very well. Mike, thank you very much uh, for the information. If you are looking for good quality ammo, uh, look at Corbon. Uh, Mike's helped us uh, kind of weed through some of, the, some of the dirt and kind of clear up the fog a little bit. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Mike, thank you very much thank for you. the time to talk to me. We're uh, at the NRA convention 2015. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.